Once, there was nothing. Then, there's Mario Bros for the Nintendo Entertainment System, which is on to be one of the biggest franchises in the world. The game comes packed with amazing secrets. It's so fun to play and added a lot of stuff to video games itself. Super Mario Bros. 2. It's the kind of game where if you played the original Mario Bros. in the 1980s, you would think, that's pretty strange. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It's a really good game. I'm just saying it's a little different. Super Mario Brothers 3 is amazing. It adds a lot of power-ups. The level designs are unique, but yet challenging, and it's all in the same console. Then there's Super Mario Bros. 4, but we don't talk about ROM hacks here. Super Mario World is the first ever game to introduce Yoshi. In the making of the first Mario game, Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Mario, wanted him to ride something. So he drew up this quick sketch of something that he can ride. But sadly, the technology for the NES just wasn't strong enough to make Mario just simply ride something. So Miyamoto had to save it for another time. But then, another chance for Miyamoto to try out his new design. He got in the works with Shigifi Mihino to make Yoshi a thing. Hino made designs that looked like this, but they still looked too reptile-ish. Shigifi Mihino fiddled with it until he got the final designs of Yoshi. Super Mario Land. Well, not as famous or beloved as Super Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario World. Super Mario Land is a solid Game Boy launch title. The graphics are appealing, the music is great, level designs are amazing yet challenging, and the difficulty is pretty even. Super Mario 64. It was mind-blowing to Nintendo fans. And how open and just big this game is. People are expecting good for the future Mario games. In 1990 or 1991, British developer Argonaut shows Nintendo a prototype of a game called NES Collider. This tech demo shows off geometrical graphics for the NES and later Super Nintendo. What later made a collaboration to make a new game Star Fox for the Super Nintendo, which later made the idea of a 3D accelerator chip for the Super Nintendo called the Super FX chip. Miyamoto, with the help from some colleagues, thought of the idea of Mario 64. After Mario 64's success, they wanted to make another 3D Mario game. With higher graphics, new challenges, and this didn't do so well. New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. This brought a new era of Mario games. It was the first game to have two people playing at the same time. It was also the first game to have bruisers. Yeah!